1948, KPIX went on the air. The Beatles are just minutes away from the Beatles. Tomorrow, KPIX turns 75, and to celebrate, we are opening up our archives where we found a big event for the legendary Steve Jobs. After leaving Apple, Jobs founded a new computer company on October 12, 1988. KPIX reporter Hank Plant was on hand as Jobs revealed the device to a private gala event at Davies Symphony Hall. His new computer, called Next, is a $6,500 workstation aimed at higher education, students, and teachers. And while it may be revolutionary, today's unveiling was 10% science, 90% hoopla. This is kind of the first computer of the 1990s. In other words, it's coming out with optical storage, with the ability to synthesize sounds as to orchestral quality in real time, and a whole bunch of other things which are going to kind of propel us into the 90s. The biggest innovation in the machine is a one-foot square that Jobs calls comparable to a big mainframe. It runs the computer. There is a laser printer that is half the size of the smallest one now on the market. That's an extra $2,000. And there is a 265 megabyte erasable optical disk drive. It's like a home CD, but it has 50 times the storage of anything now on the market. The one that's technologically unavailable elsewhere is the optical disk drive, William Shakespeare, the dictionary, thesaurus, all your own files, all fits on this one little five inch platter. But for others, like musician and computer whiz Todd Rundgren, next is lacking a few things. There are some distinct things missing from it, like for instance, color and, uh, and, uh, app and specific application software, but I expected that uh, people are supposed to write that. And since Next is aimed at higher education, the state's top school chief was suitably impressed, even when asked if schools can afford it. Can we afford not to do it, is the way I'd say it. If, if, if we're, we're looking to elementary school teachers to be experts in science and mathematics and history and, and these other subjects, this puts the power of the genius in the country, in the world actually, at their fingertips. With a built-in dictionary, thesaurus, the works of Shakespeare, and the ability to program in whatever you want, Next will be welcomed by educators. But it's in the broader marketplace where products live or die, and that market is Next for jobs. Ultimately, it's the consumer who will separate the hype from the hardware, the consumer who will decide whether Stephen Jobs is a Ford or a Tucker. In San Francisco, Hank Plant, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Next only sold 50,000 computers. Apple ended up buying Next and replaced it with its software with the Next operating system, creating the iconic software we all expect in Apple products today, making Next one of the most successful failures in history.